Hello, my name is Jonathan with Reso World Technical Support, and this is a video on setting up the Liberty Item Entry app on your iDevice for use inside of your store. Now, the first thing we need to do is create a key or keys if you have multiple iDevices, and we also need to figure out what your IP address is of your server. Now, an IP address is more like a phone number that's assigned to your server computer, so that way the iPad can dial into it, so to speak. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click the start menu and we're going to start typing mobile. Now you'll notice that the Liberty Mobile Admin app shows up in here. We can just hit the enter key or we can click on it. And alternatively, if you don't see the mobile app in that list under the start menu, you can click on the file explorer button here. Go to this PC. Open up your C drive. Go to the RWD folder, and then we're going to look for the mobile app, which is uh, usually under the M's. And there it is. So I can just double click on this, and that will get me into the same spot. The next thing we need to do is we need to create an actual key. So I'm going to go ahead and click the Maintain Authorized Devices option here, and you're going to log in as your admin. Now, I'll go ahead and add a device. And you can name this device whatever you'd like. So my, my iPad is an iPad Air, so I'm just going to put an iPad Air 2. And there's my new key. So we can copy that, make a note of it, put it somewhere. Uh, but we'll, we'll leave this screen open. The next thing we need to do is figure out what your IP address is for your server. So the easiest way to do that is we click on the start menu and we type in CMD which stands for command prompt so I'm just going to type in CMD and then hit the enter key or click on command prompt and then we're going to type this in IP CON FIG so what this does is basically just queries the, the computer and says and, and shows you all the networking information that you'll need so I'll hit my enter key here and then so this is my server's IP address here. So normally what I like to do is we'll open up Notepad and we'll just type out all this information as we would expect to see it. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my Notepad. And we know that the when we open up the app, you'll see description. Uh, so this one will just say this is my store name. So my store name is a state of mind consignment. My server address. is going to be this number my key I can just uh, copy from here I'll just right click on it and click copy key and then for my uh, for the option for SSL we just leave this as on now if you can't connect with SSL on you can try it with off and then uh, that should be good so for the next portion of this video, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the iPad, and we're going to show you exactly what to type in, what you should expect to see, and even how to download the application. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download the application from the App Store. I don't have it on this iPad yet, so we're going to go ahead and try it. So I'll click on the App Store icon. Once we click on the App Store icon, we'll click on the search button at the bottom right. And at the very top, uh, when I say click, I mean tap. Sorry, I'm using a mouse on the iPad. Uh, we'll tap the top search area. And then we're going to type Resale World. Next, we'll click on Resale World, Inc. And there it is at the top right. So mine has a little cloud symbol because I already downloaded this in the past. But uh, when you click it, it might ask you to sign in. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Now mine's already downloading it, but you're going to use your Apple ID and password to grab the application. And then you can click on open uh, from the top right button here. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'll show you how to get to the app on your iPad. We're not going to use this open button. So we get back to our home, our home page here. And then we're just going to find the item entry app. And it is right here. So I'll go ahead and tap this. Next thing we're going to do 
is we're going to tap I'm ready. And this should look very familiar. This is what we typed in our notepad. So I'll bring that up for just a second so you can see it. We're actually just going to replicate the information that I grabbed from a combination of the command prompt to get the IP address and the key. So for the description, I'm going to tap in uh, state of mind consignment, just like I did on the computer. One thing to note that's purely cosmetic, it's not it's not going to be shown to you or the customer or an employee or anything like that. So it's just kind of like to help you put that in there. Um, typically, also what you can do if you're going to set this up for external access, um, you can type in internal to show that this is going to be the connection point when you're using it in the store. So that's another option. For your server IP address, we'll type in the number that we had from the computer. And then finally, our key. So I'll go ahead and type this in. Once this is completed, we'll leave the SSL as normally on, and then we'll tap the Submit button. So now it's going to go ahead and log us into the server. If everything went well, you'll see a login screen. You're going to go ahead and use the credentials that you use normally to log into Liberty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use RWD and RWD to get in. And then we can use our Save Credentials button to save this so we don't have to type it in every time. And then I'm into the actual database. So if you see a blank screen, that's normal. Um, also on the prior screen, you might get an option to use Face ID or Touch ID. Um, that can make it a lot more secure as well. Definitely not a bad idea to turn those options on. Uh, and then finally, what I like to do is I just normally like to search for an account to verify that this is working. So I'm going to go ahead and see if my account's in here. Eh, close enough. We'll use John Doe, and I'll just tap that. Uh, one other thing you can do is that you can search by account number, first name, last name, uh, phone number, it'll, it'll be, it's able to pull it up as a quick search. So we'll go ahead and tap on John Doe here, and that's it. This was a video on setting up the Liberty Item Entry app on your iDevice for use inside of your store.